looking at my other platform because I can't rely on the grids. Um, I took short positions on dollar Swiss at 34. And uh, again, trying to rely on where to get out. But um, again, the, the, I'm not looking at the grids right now. Something's not working where the, it, the way it should. But if um, it's it's not plot, uh, it can't go on too long where we've got dollars being sold against the the yen. I mean, against the uh, euro and the pound, and then also against the Swiss. So uh, and then they were actually doing the reverse. Uh, so something's just not right. This is why I got into dollar Swiss. I'll explain it in just a bit. All right, then, you know, this needs to it needs to come back, so we just have to be patient. I have to be patient. Good morning. Swiss dollar, okay, finally. Uh, man, I'm, and, and, and you know, you, just, you see, this is why you got to stay with it, because it, you know, they, if you don't, they, they kind of. All right, guys, let me try to explain what just uh, was going on. Anyways, uh, there was a lot happening here. Sorry, fast market, um, but we can't have. It's very rare to get euro dollar, uh, pound dollar. In other words, they're selling dollars, and then you come over here and you look at your dollar Swiss grid. And your dollar Swiss, they're buying dollars. It just doesn't make sense. And normally, it, it's it's got to be working opposites. So the fact that we had across the board such dollar sell-off, and then I saw that they were buying dollars with the Swiss, then you know we we just looked at what was going on, and, and we tried to take uh, we took positions up here. Uh, actually, when it broke above the uh, four-column roadblock on the dollar Swiss at uh, 106.27. And so we were able to take positions up here at 34, and uh, I actually had a tight stop at 41. I got taken out. All I did was just get back in it again because, uh, again, my sidekick uh, was giving me information and was telling me, you know, you should get back in it. So I just got back in it, and uh, we rode that one down all the way down to 20. So we closed that one. Okay, we took some of the few points we lost on one, and then we made bad back and then some. And uh, so that's what we just did with that one. So that was a quick, fast trade. And uh, it was uh, based on, you know, things in the market that just didn't make sense. And we just felt, based on our uh, experience, that uh, this would be a trade that should work.